in our last episode, we were talking about the history and the heritage that the leather driving gloves carries with it and how it's a great fashion addition in your wardrobe to demarcate yourself as a gentleman. But in today's episode, we're going to talk about the utility and the relevance of the leather driving gloves in the present day. This is a trend which is not only upcoming, but also it's a revolution which is going to be a game changer in the fashion market and also in the automotive sector. So listen up, gentlemen. Perforated leather driving gloves are the answer to all the questions here. The perforations range all across the body of the glove from the tip to the cuffs. Now the correct summer gloves for the Indian market would be the ones with the perforated detailing and also the knuckle holes. Knuckle holes, yes, you heard that right. So why are they there in a protective glove? You are technically exposed. Well, I'll tell you how. So these knuckle holes are there for one technical reason and one fashion reason. Now this classical design has made its way from the very beginning and is still relevant now. These knuckle holes are key. They help the leather to sit on your hands properly and help you move around your fingers for the car electronics very easily. And leather provides great support and friction against the steering and the gears. Also, due to the snug fit that you receive, it helps you to reach out on all the buttons on the electronics with ease and without any discomfort. So here I'd like to say one thing that these are luxury leather driving gloves, right? So they are generally a statement of luxury, class, style. But if you are an adventure head who likes backpacking around the mountains and is adventure by it, probably they are not the gloves for you. Probably you should get some with proper knuckle protection and a little bit of a thicker lining of leather. But if you are on your power or on your chopper and out there for a chill ride just to rejuvenate on the highway without any care, these gloves are perfect for you. The ones with the perforated detailing and the knuckle holes as they look fashionable, they look beautiful and less bulky and gives you the perfect support and protection that you require. Protection, right? Yes, we get this question a lot. Like they have knuckle holes, do they protect you enough? Yes, they do. Because you see, leather is flexible, durable, strong, everything. But most importantly, leather is dependable. It never lets you down. So these gloves are there to protect you from level one injuries like bruises and cuts. And of course, it protects your palms from the extreme friction that you face from driving or riding a lot. It helps it to protect from corns, from chafing, from blisters, and anything that might come your way. These leather driving gloves are generally made of sheepskin or goatskin leather, which is the best quality available in the market and also applicable to the Indian market. Now, goatskin and sheepskin is famous for their durability, flexibility, yet a feather soft feel. And that's exactly what makes these gloves more special. So I'll just go ahead and tell you one thing that you will not go and drive wearing a golf glove, would you? Now, why is that? So a golf glove is technically structured and designed in a manner so that it provides the best possible traction and flexibility to the player while swinging the golf club. But this same glove will face a completely different challenge with the swing of the steering and the grip of the gear, let alone the buttons and the electronics. This is where the leather driving gloves comes in. They provide you the best possible flexibility and the best possible comfort without causing any issues and giving you the smoothest possible drive with style. This is the entire point why made that you will never go to a board meeting wearing a Sherwani, would you? Exactly. This is what putting things in its rightful place and putting the pieces together gets you. So here's me signing off with another very important point here. That gentlemanship is not just a behavior. It's not just an etiquette that you take up. It's a lifestyle. So don't just go with it. Grow with it. 
See you guys next time.